Yeah, and uh, here with uh, Richwood Catcher Shortstop and Pitcher Dakota Sizemore. Uh, Dakota, first of all, you guys go into the sectional um, this week coming up. How excited are you to get into the postseason with the way you guys play, Blake? I'm pretty excited. I'm uh, looking forward to cleaning some stuff up, hopefully making a run to sectionals. You, you talk about cleaning things up. How much does it help to have a coach that's a baseball guy well, um, it's, like Coach McKinney is? It's helped out a lot. Uh, respect the guy a lot. Um, he's really helped us with the team. He's helped the guys get to know the positions better and just become more confident as a baseball player. Now, you've had some injuries in your arm that we were just discussing before we started. Just talk about that injury and how that uh, kind of set you back and how excited you are to be back now. Um, uh, yeah, so I wasn't able to play for three years, and I'm so fortunate to be able to actually play this sport again. It's um, really just, I don't know, it's just, it's been a while <laughs> since I've played. So this is your so first I'm excited. year. This is really your first year back since you suffered a dislocation in your uh, left arm? Yeah. What, how, did it, was that a baseball injury or? No, I'm uh I was playing football towards the end of the school year in sixth grade, and a girl tripped me, and I fell on it and kind of dislocated it. And then I've been – I went to the doctor all through my middle school years, had cast on all through middle school. So it's kind of something that's been lingering. Yeah. That you've had to have multiple surgeries on. Yeah, I'll still have trouble with it every once in a while. Like, it, it'll, it'll be hard to get it to its full potential, but I'm working on it. Um, as a catcher, um, what do you think your strong points are behind the plate? I mean, probably my, your coach is pretty high on your uh, skill level there. Probably my ability to really take um, take an outside pitch or inside pitch and frame it to be a strike. <laughs> and um, uh, well, there's an art to that, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, how do you get to learn that that skill? Framing. I've caught I've caught since I was like ten and. My coach has always really told me to work on my fl my framing skills that it will help me out in the long run. So I've just been – I went to like three camps on catching, and they've really taught me a lot of good stuff. Um, being from Richwood, it's not really – hasn't been for at least uh, for, uh, for a while been known as a baseball school. But they've had good runs in basketball, good runs in football in the past. But, uh, do you feel like it's changing now, becoming more of a baseball school, which is kind of your sport now? Um, hopefully, I'm uh, with Mike, with Mr. Mike McKinney here. I'm, I'm hopefully he can change this around and make, make Richwood a baseball school. What has been the one lesson uh, he said? Trust the process is your guys' motto. What's the one thing he's brought to the team that you're excited about as a baseball guy? Well, I'm just his ability to like make good calls and good decisions on the field. And I'm uh, he said trust the process. I mean, we have a very young team, and he said of we just need to build on to him, and he'll teach us. So next year and the year after that, we should be very good. I think what a lot of people don't understand, and, and myself included until Mike told me about it, is the fact that you guys don't have a high school. You have a pod system, and it's in Craigsville, yeah. about 15 miles from Richwood, where your baseball field is located. How difficult has that been, just to not have – uh, a, a school like most guys go to school and then they go to practice it's yeah. a little different how tough is that it's pretty difficult i mean we gotta catch rides with other teammates catch rides with other teammates just to get to the field on time and we don't get a practice as long because the drive there takes away some of that time and we don't have an indoor facility or really anything so we just try to do the best we can is that been – and with a young team, I guess you got to catch a ride with yeah. two or three of the guys because everybody's too young to drive. Yeah. So I, it, it, is that something that you think helps a little bit and then you can deal with adversity because you have to do it in your dev everyday life just to go to school? Yeah, definitely. We just, we gotta, we've learned to work around a lot of stuff, a lot of challenges. Um, and as far as the postseason goes, I know you guys have been in just about every game you've played this year. Lost uh, some tight ones. You've gone against uh, 3A schools like Woodrow. How has that prepared you for this postseason? Um, I think it's going to help us out a lot. We've got to see a lot of really good pitchers, a lot of really good arms this season. Like, um, we was in Woodrow. We was in the game at Woodrow. We was in the game at West and all those games, so. 
and they have some really good arms on that team, and we was hitting the ball decently well, so hopefully okay. that'll help us. Ask Dakota Sizemore, Scar. All right, call you that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dakota, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.